The achievements developed by Iranian experts at the Research and Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization of the Army Ground Force were put on display on Sunday during a ceremony in the presence of Deputy Chief of Army for Coordination Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayari and Commander of the Iranian Army Ground Force Brigadier General Qayyam Zadari. The ceremony rolled out a radar warning system capable of detecting and jamming airborne interception radars used in drones, helicopters, and fighter jets, in addition to an alarm system for detection of laser-guided weaponry and airborne threats, which can be employed against the enemy's short-range air defense systems and has the ability to send alerts to of ground control stations. The ground force also showcased Tranish 1. Propulsion 1, micro-turbojet engine, which can be used in various drones, single-seat light aircraft, a wide array of missile systems, and unmanned boats. The turbojet engine is light enough to generate high-speed thrust, runs on different types of fuel, has a high service ceiling compared to piston engines, can carry payloads, and can considerably boost the flight endurance record in a variety of drones. The other homegrown products included self-protection and drone-mounted TIAM 1400 system for detection of the enemy's radars and air surveillance. The system uses different frequency bands to decipher various types of air surveillance radar signals and intelligently transmits the received signal to the jammer in order to disrupt it. The ceremony also featured a flight system that is based on artificial intelligence and incorporates drones in the land-based Taha 1400 radar jamming system that can be carried by drones. Taha 1400 system uses directional antennas to intelligently cover a wide area of operation and maintains the flight safety of various drones in the enemy's locale. The system is smart and light, a low voltage consumer, and can be installed quickly and easily. Finally, a land-based jamming system used for countering hostile drones and remote-controlled systems was among the new military achievements unveiled on Sunday. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great progress in indigenously developing and manufacturing a broad range of equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in this regard. Iranian officials have repeatedly underscored that the Islamic Republic will not hesitate to build up its defense capabilities, emphasizing such abilities are entirely meant for the purpose of defense and will be never subject to negotiations. For a country that used to import even a toothbrush before, Iran has been making giant strides in industry and indigenously produced components. Recently, on the country's Defense Industry Day, President of Iran, Hassan Rouhani had unveiled the first domestically produced turbojet engine OJ, Zenith, in a prestigious ceremony attended by press officials, industry experts, and scientists of the nation. The president of Iran has described this achievement as a bridge between industrialized nations and developing countries. The OJ turbojet engine is one of the most complicated components produced for the aviation industry in Iran. It was built without any foreign technical assistance in regards to its hardware and software. This puts Iran in the elite list of eight countries that are capable of producing such high-end aircraft engines through indigenous technology and makes a breakthrough in the county's defense and aviation industry. The engine, which was designed and manufactured by the country's leading scientists at the Defense Industries Organization, is now slated to be pressed into mass production. The OJ is one of the most sophisticated products to be produced in Iran and will go a long way in decreasing the country's dependence on foreign technology and aircraft engines. The engine comprises of 14,000 individual components and can operate at an altitude of 50,000 feet in various climatic conditions. Its approximate takeoff weight is around 10 tons which is more than sufficient to power the multi-role fighter jets of the Iranian Air Force this engine serves as a benchmark for the manufacture of subsequent jet engines that the country hopes to continue designing and building. Iran is now poised to look forward to a new generation of light aircraft and heavy-duty planes based on the OJ turbojet. Here's a more close look at how the OJ turbojet engine works. Turbojet engines are air-breathing engines used in aircraft and ballistic missiles. 
that is constructed with a gas turbine and propelling nozzle, with the gas turbine consisting of an air inlet, compressor, combustion chamber and an exhaust chamber. The turbine powers the compressor, which compresses air, and heats it with burning fuel in the combustion chamber. The hot gases are the allowed to expand in the turbine, 